वेलकम इन दिस एडिशन ऑफ डाउन टू अर्थ विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सम ऑफ द मेजर टॉपिक्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन इज कार्बन क्रेडिट नाउ द ग्लोबल साउथ इज इन अ नीड ऑफ फाइनेंसिंग फॉर लो कार्बन एनर्जी सिस्टम्स एंड टू इम्प्रूव देयर सोशो इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट सो इन दैट केस वट नीड्स टू बी डन द क्लाइमेट क्राइसिस इज पुटिंग द डेवलपिंग नेशन अ प्रेशर टू मूव टूवर्ड्स रिन्यूएबल सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी और ऑल्टरनेट सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी इन दैट लाइन वट हैज बीन डन इज थ्रू द क्लीन डेवलपमेंट मैकेजम देर हैज बीन transfer of carbon credits that takes place and this carbon market is putting up a pressure on to the developed nations to promote development in the global south and therefore companies are buying credits investing in the regions of uh, global south with the idea that there can be a good agreement that could be established now what is really important that there have been such kind of discussions under the cop 28 and that focuses on financing india is having a lucrative carbon market with a worth of nearly 1.2 million billion dollars and the market is aimed to increase with Uh, the companies is striving towards net zero emission goals now these carbon credits are around 11% of our annual greenhouse gas emissions and many of the companies have already earned millions of dollars to offset this kind of emission the investments are going into various fields for example renewable energy agriculture forestry and so on and so forth also let's talk about each of these sector one by one so in the field of renewable energy it's nearly 32% of the credits that goes and 90% of it going into wind hydro and solar then in the agriculture the idea is predominantly reducing the methane uh, manual methane management and rice emission reduction is the basic idea forestry and land use where afforestation wetland restoration is important for household and community the clean cooking gases is one of the projects that's really important for transportation electric vehicles hybrid vehicles for waste management it's uh, nearly uh, reducing the use of landfills and us and china have two third of the projects which have issued credits for the same the same goes for industrial and commercial purposes for chemical processes now the next important thing is carbon capture and storage now when we talk about carbon capture it's it's basically a concept where you have low um, a uh, low number of projects that are existingly there and also how to handle this issue very very carefully because if you are capturing the carbon the cost should be reasonable uh, it should be sustainable and the sequestration should be done in such a way that it could be uh, converted into fossil fuels in coming years or coming centuries we could say right uh, the next important is the cheap uh, options of emission reductions which are sold from one country to another needs to be made thing that we have already covered in our class on kyoto protocol in detail how this clean development mechanism and carbon credit actually work this would also bring in more uh, transparency into the system uh, reduce the uh, the burden on to the developing nations for the purpose of development and the investments would come into developing nation that's again a very very important aspect now if we talk about some of the countries for example honduras talked about moratorium on the sale of forest based carbon uh, carbon credits zambia has again a guidelines for handling carbon market tanzania has a list of regulations for controlling the carbon trading projects indonesia again have certain conditions for export of carbon credit Uh, carbon credits nigeria has voluntary carbon uh, carbon regulatory markets similarly we have rwanda zimbabwe egypt kenya malawi all coming up with their separate strategies a little different from the other country in light of the best possible developments that can be taken for their nation ahead the next is uh, avoiding or removing the greenhouse gas from the atmosphere is really important and the buyer and the sellers have to be taken into account so if we talk about this voluntary supply we have a project developer and then a end buyer so there is a demand side for the buyer where you have carbon exchange that takes place and for the project development there is a supply side where they validate and verify and issue a registry which gives an information on the carbon credit and its uh, global outlook now uh, the projects in which these carbon credits have can be 
capital lines we have already discussed about and a detailed table on to uh, the registered projects worldwide how many projects does india have in such case so india has a very high proportion of renewable energy projects with household and agriculture among the priority ones of the total projects that are there now forest renewables are again important so what is the right price that you can get for the forest and land use sector uh, what is the worth of each of the carbon market the global players how do they work and then the major developers in the field how uh, can they progress there are also projects that can be implemented across india for uh, essential commodity carbon credits and this is really important to understand how the fund raising can be done the fundamental concerns can be adjusted and uh, one such example has been from the araku valley uh, you have numerous such examples that can be cited but when you have uh, you have to write a case study you have to mention one such good example for your answer the next is the vibrant carbon market if we talk about india has nearly 6 uh, 860 eligible projects for uh, for it across the various subjects as we said renewable is one of the fields where we have the highest number of projects and some of the project developers which include jws energy jayprakash hydro uh, and adani renewables are among the major ones there are also project developers for non renewable their value and their importance is again important because the sectors they are involved with is mainly household and community so uh, even for cook stoves and house sole purposes the projects and their performance is important uh, we have a project for example in karnataka mysuru uh, where there is a carbon offset project for improved uh, cook stove similarly earth science private limited in bangalore is validating the projects for voluntary uh, uh, use there have been clean cook stoves which have been taken into account based on the thermal efficiency and woody biomass uh, what could be replaced and how much should be taken into consideration is really important plantation trees uh, are really important so araku valley again uh, we can talk about there have been a forestation in nearly 6000 hectares of land which is a very high figure and mainly in the form of coffee and mango plantations the saplings have been planted for a 20 year period by nandi foundation and nandi foundation became one of the pioneers in 2010 to uh, receive nearly 96000 carbon credits for reforestation activities the similar examples have been seen in other parts of the world as well and uh, there have been various companies who have been attributed to such projects another such great project is from biogas and we do have indesa as one of the major uh, companies working for it the value networks is also working for it there are more than 200 household projects related to biogas similarly for renewables there are various wind farm projects which have been taken into account uh, and there have been a reducing charm of renewable energy projects that have been uh, taken into consideration so for example for wind we have seen a uh, significant high figures that you can cite out here uh, similarly the number of projects for renewable energy bundled and solar energy have been increased significantly in the past few years there are various options that are now available for renewable energy projects of the total projects we have more than half of them projects which are registered and have issued the credits for the same so this this whole uh, section actually predominantly focuses on the best sources of energy and how you can uh, actually have carbon uh, carbon trading and carbon offsets being met so this was for today and the detailed lecture the comprehensive lecture on carbon trading we have already covered separately so if you want to get into more have a more insight into carbon trading just watch that lecture for more details thanks for joining in today have a wonderful evening ahead